Hi kid and welcome to the super smart edition of Kid Time Story Time. Presenting your fantastic elastic brain. Wow, I love how Green Bear gets excited about learning. He is a brainy act. The brain. We stretch it. We shape it. Yeah, yeah, we do. Oh, what? What? What is this? It's, oh, Owl is saying an average person's short-term memory can hold seven digits at a time. Mouse says, I think I can remember this number. Hmm. Do you think we can? Should we try? 283-1908. 283-1908. Well, we'll test each other at the end. And it says here, the human brain weighs about three pounds. Ah, it feels like a lot more. Well, poor little thing, the mouse. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of brain for a mouse to carry. When does it rain brains? During a brainstorm. What? What does your brain really do? Does it fill the space between your ears? Hello in there. All I see is pink stuff. Well, yes, technically. But your brain can do so much more. Your brain helps you think and remember. Good kitty. And name what you see and what you hear. It lets you move your body and feel both touch and emotions. See, here she is thinking about these places, like she's got Paris there and, and Egypt and then that's Washington DC and she's looking for it on the map so it's helping her think. Your brain does all the things that make you, you. For example, your brain tells you, you like red foods. Your favorite word is elbow. Huh, that's an unusual favorite word. Uh, you are a ping pong champ. You know global landmarks. You're good at science. You enjoy reading. Arr, pirate books. She's so unique. My favorite word is foot. I don't think I have a favorite word. Wait, wait, I'm getting one. I'm getting pizza, but I'm still thinking about it. You think about your favorite word as well. I think it's a good idea to have one now that I think about it. So, what is your brain? Is it a muscle? No. The brain is an organ in your body. It's made up of cells and tissues. Greetings, Earthling. Welcome to Planet Organ. The brain controls everything you do, everything you think, everything you feel, even everything you dream. Hey, I had that same dream. Really? That Earthling dream? The brain has many parts that do all kinds of different jobs. Let's see, it breaks it down to the cere cerebrum, the prefrontal cortex, the amygdala, the cerebellum, the hippocampus. Woo! That pink stuff is busy! I think, therefore, I am. Dude, that's deep. The cerebrum. Oh, sorry, I called it cerebrum. Cerebrum. The cerebrum is the largest part of your brain. That's that big blue part all over the top. And it helps you think and speak. The cerebellum, that little red part in the back, is a small part at the back of the brain that helps your muscles to coordinate your movements and your balance so that you can walk, ride a bike, play tag. I can walk and chew gum! The prefrontal cortex, PFC for short, is a part of your brain behind your forehead. It lets you make plans and decisions. Mystery meat or secret soup? Hmm, decisions, decisions. The hippocampus is at the center of your brain. It works like a filing cabinet. Oh, how about that? And it helps you store and find memories. Find it! Yeah, the cheese file. The amygdala is a tightly packed group of cells deep within the center of the brain that controls your emotions. I call it amygdala because I think in Spanish it's amygdala, and I thought of it that way, but it's amygdala. And, well, it's, it controls emotions, it controls if you're excited, angry, embarrassed, frightened, sad, happy. Neurons. Neurons are everywhere all over your brain. They are tiny brain cells that make electrical signals to send messages to other cells in your body telling them what to do. Amygdala means almond. I can see how we got that name. Really? Look at that. I love learning stuff in kids' books. Well, you kids are lucky. There's some good books out here. When you were born, you were very little. Maybe you don't remember, but you were. Your brain was small and not so strong. Did you know that? Now, as you get older, your body grows and gets stronger. 
as part of your body, your brain grows and learns to do new things. And here's the thing, you can make your brain do even more. Your brain grows very fast during the first 10 years of your life. Are you listening? This is super duper important. Most kids don't know this. This is the magic decade, one through 10. When you can help your brain grow faster and be more powerful, just like lifting weights helps your muscles get stronger, learning new things strengthens your brain. You can give your brain a good workout by trying to learn many different things. Oh, well, so she's learning by reading, and she's going to school, and she's doing her math, and she's learning it to play an instrument, and she's doing scientific experiments. Those are all good ways. You know another good way? Oh, I know. Oh, hey, Abuela Bear. I, I have a suggestion. Okay, what is it? Way, another way to stretch your brain and make it more powerful is to learn another language. Oh, that's true. Do you mean another language like Espanol? Oh, maybe. And anyway, you have excellent books on Kid Time Story Time in Espanol and English so that way kids can learn. Well, that was my two cents. <laughs> well, thank you, Abuela, for making that unexpected appearance. Now, back to our book. Like elastic bands that stretch when you pull them, even things that are hard at first, or that you don't like to do, or that you don't do very well, get easier when you keep trying. That's why they always say practice makes perfect. Persistence is a big thing. Persistence means you keep going and keep going and you don't give up. Nice kick. Think about the first time you played soccer. You probably couldn't kick the ball far or make many goals, but as you kept going to practice, you learned more about the rules of the game and followed your coach's directions. The muscles in your legs and feet got stronger. Your movements were more coordinated and you could run farther and faster. Learning more and practicing what you learned let you play better and have more fun. Practice really does make perfect, or at least, much better. And if you don't play soccer and this doesn't really, you know, ring true to you, think about anything, that, whether it's an, uh, another sport that you played, or maybe it was reading that was hard and then you got good at it, or maybe it's a new instrument that you took up. Yeah, we start slow and then we get better. Even when you make a mistake while you're learning something new, which by the way is totally normal. Abracadabra, you are still training your brain. Poof, sit down. Focus, focus, keep trying. You will remember that mistake and try something else until you get it right. Making mistakes is actually one of the best ways your brain learns and grows. And that's why they always say you gotta learn from your mistakes. If you aren't willing to risk being wrong, you won't take the chances that stretch your elastic brain. So you have to be, well, a little bit brave. You can stretch the part of your brain that controls your feelings too. Let's jump together. If you're frightened, for example, about taking a risk, like learning to swim, finding the courage to put your face in the water stretches your amygdala. Huh, how about that? It will remind you that you overcame your fear. Fight the fear. So you will be braver the next time somebody something scares you, like diving into the water. We give you a 10. Woo! Perfect score. Learning something new causes the brain to grow. More connections among the neurons. Remember, those are the little cells all over your brain. With more connections, the neurons can send and receive more messages. These connections help to stretch a part of your brain and make it even more elastic so that it can hold more information and more ideas. How does the brain stretch and grow? Neuro means that the word it is part of has something to do with the brain. A sculptor molds, shapes, or carves things out of clay or wood or stone. So you, kid, you shape your brain when you make it bigger by adding new things you know and can do. You are a neuro, a sculptor. What does that mean, remember? Neuro means the brain, sculpting means you mold. You are sculpting your own brain. How did you do that? Neurons, my feathered friend, neurons. When you learn something new, you're building on what you've already learned. Look at that, got a girl playing the piano. In the same way that the muscles in your body work together when you wanna lift a heavy object or say kick a ball, the different parts of your brain work together 
when you are learning something new. The amygdala makes you want to learn to play the piano. The, cere the cerebrum helps you to decide to practice. The cerebellum calls up the memory of watching and listening when your piano teacher showed you how to play a new piece of music. Then your cerebellum sends messages through neurons to the muscles in your wrist, hands, and fingers so that you can hit the right notes. The next time you play that piece of music, the parts of your brain and body will know how to work together and you will play the song more easily. Isn't that incredible how all the parts work together? It's amazing how we're built. The brain that makes you, you, really is an amazing organ. It controls what you think, do, feel, remember. Your brain is growing very fast during your first 10 years of life, and now we know that you can help it grow. We gotta put in as much information in there as possible, kid. When you try hard to learn something new, connections grow from neurons and attach to other neurons. Then your brain can send messages faster, making part of your brain bigger and stronger. Making mistakes really helps you learn. Um, uh, yes, Green Bear? I can attest that this is true. I've made a few mistakes in my day, it's true. Everybody knows about my transgressions, but I've learned. <clears throat> yeah, that's all. Okay, but thank you for sharing that with, it, with us. Making mistakes really helps you learn because your brain keeps trying new things and stretching until you figure out the answer to your problem. You are shaping a more elastic brain when you learn new things that build on what you already know. So you know things, and then you know other things, and then you know other things, and before you know it, you are building a tall building of knowledge inside your brain. The more different kinds of things you learn and think about, the more you can learn, know, and enjoy. The harder you try without, and this is key, without giving up, the more you will learn which means you're gonna make more mistakes because you're gonna keep learning, but that's gonna keep on growing. You have to be brave and not give up. You really can train your brain to be fit and strong and to keep stretching and growing throughout your whole life, like your body. And that is that, is it? No. The human brain is made up of about 85% water. <laughs> hmm, I'm really thirsty right now. The energy used by the brain is enough to light a 25 watt light bulb. It's lit! I must be thinking stuff! I bet you're thinking stuff too, kid. Oh, wait! What was that number? Remember the number at the beginning of the book? Yeah, yeah, I remember the number. What is it? No, I mean, I remember there was a number, but I don't remember the number. Oh! I fail. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It was an exercise we wanted to try. I think there was a 2. And, and an 8, and then I think there was a 1903. Do you remember the number, kid? All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, <gasps> 28. Oh, 1908. 28. Here's the 3. 1908. Well, I remembered a few numbers. But, well, I think that maybe if we practice that, we can get better at it. Exactly. But don't just learn random numbers. Learn numbers that mean something. You know, like some sort of a cool code or some solution to some massive problem in the world. Oh. Okay, that's a big task. Well, why do you think you have your brain for? Big tasks. Exactly. All right, kid, remember to exercise your fantastic elastic brain and put as much in there as you possibly can. <laughs> that tickled. All right, kid, see you next time. That's right, see you next time on Kid Time. Story Time.